Hey there guys, my name is Brandon, aka Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. That is right, you guys, Phoenix Suns legendary head coach, Cotton Fitzsimmons, is going to the Basketball Hall of Fame. He will be the 12th former member of the Phoenix Suns to join the Hall, which is on Saturday, September 11th, 2021. Cotton Fitzsimmons will be presented by Charles Barkley, Jerry Colangelo, and Phil Knight. So I thought it'd be fun to pay tribute to Cotton the best way that I know possible and make a video talking about Cotton Fitzsimmons career with the Phoenix Suns. Make sure to Hulk smash that like button and please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. The godfather of Valley Sports, Jerry Colangelo, who was the coach before the 1970-71 season, knew a change needed to be made. He felt like this franchise, and I quote, needed a career coach, a teacher, and a motivator who could mold the young players and get the most out of the veterans. Fast forward to Colangelo meeting Cotton at the NCAA tournament in 1968. He was impressed with him because he was a very upbeat and positive young coach. After interviewing several candidates, including Indiana's Bobby Knight, Cotton stood out. And on June 5th, 1970, Cotton Fitzsimmons was signed as the head coach. And at the end of Cotton's first season, the Suns won 48 games and 49 games the following season. But due to the conference alignment at the time, the Suns did not make the playoffs either year. Unfortunately, frustrated with not making the playoffs and due to a quote skittish in the wings with Colangelo, Cotton Fitzsimmons' time with the Phoenix Suns ended as he took over coaching duties with the Atlanta Hawks. However, he did remain good friends and had a close relationship with Colangelo. And in 1987-88, Cotton returned as the Suns' director of player personnel and later as head coach. And during that time, Cotton started making moves and he was responsible in acquiring Eddie Johnson, Mark West, Kevin Johnson, Craig Hodges, Tyrone Corbin, and the draft pick that turned into Thunder Dan Marley. In which, by the way, when the Suns drafted Dan Marley with the 14th pick of the 1988 NBA draft, a pick Suns fans were against, Cotton famously said, you'll be sorry that you booed this young man. And Cotton was responsible for the first unrestricted free agent in NBA history, Tom Chambers. After Cotton took over as head coach while still holding player personnel duties, in 1988-89, he brought back the late great Paul Westpaul as an assistant coach. The Suns had a dream season in 88-89. The Suns won 27 games the previous season and had one of the biggest turnarounds in NBA history at the time, winning 55 games the first time in Cotton's head coaching career that he won 50 games. The Suns even made it to the Western Conference Finals, and he was named Coach of the Year for the second time. And in 1991-92, the Suns known as the Cotton Express for their high-octane offense during his four-year tenure, finished 53-29. and He was selected as the Coach of the Month for December, following 11 wins and only one loss. He recorded his 800th career victory on March 31st, 1992 versus the Portland Trailblazers, becoming the sixth head coach in the NBA history to reach that milestone. Fitzsimmons retired from coaching in 1992, but stayed on as the Suns senior executive vice president making way for former Phoenix Suns player Paul Westpaul to take over coaching duties. He soon joined the Suns telecast with Suns legend Al McCoy, and he even had his own TV show named, you guessed it, The Cotton Express. During Cotton Fitzsimmons' legendary coaching career, he was the Big 8 Coach of the Year in 1970, the NBA Coach of the Year in 1979 with the Kansas City Kings, and in 1989 with the Phoenix Suns. He has 832 career NBA coaching wins, 311 of them with the Phoenix Suns, 1,607 games coached, 549 of them 
with the Suns and in 2005 was the Phoenix Suns Ring of Honor inductee and now is entering the Basketball Hall of Fame Class of 2021. Sadly, Cotton Fitzsimmons passed away at 72 years old due to lung cancer in 2004, but his legacy will forever live on in Phoenix Suns and in basketball history. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Brandon, aka Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Make sure to Hulk smash that like button and please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. From time to time, I do these Phoenix Suns history videos or these Phoenix Suns story videos. So stay tuned for more. Make sure to Hulk smash that like button and I'll see you guys next time.